Hey, Chris. Um, okay, so it's been a long time since I've done my video, and there's probably a million reasons why. I've been working a lot. I have been writing a lot. See, that's a good thing. I've been drinking. I've been painting. Okay, Matt painted that, but I was inspiration. I've been reading, been obsessed with Buffy, which really hasn't changed much. So the reason for my video being really, really late is the same reason that your video was really, really late. I'm lazy. Yeah. I'm sorry. I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. And, and here we go, and I have uh, several ideas for punishment. So at Christmas, Matt got me a really neat fountain pen. It's very pretty, it writes really well. Um, and it's got several neat pieces. You can either put a regular cartridge in there, or you can fill your own. And then you put the pen in the inkwell and you suck the ink up into the pen, which is pretty neat, actually. You know I'm a connoisseur of weird pens, or maybe a weird connoisseur of pens, but whatever. And I highly recommend um, is the glass pen. I bought one of these at Bristol. It came with a bottle of writing ink um, and is legit dip and write inkwell penning. It writes really nicely and there's like these little bitty grooves. I don't think you can see it. There are these little bitty grooves that pull the ink into um, the wells in the side of the pen and then you can write for four or five lines before you have to dip again which is pretty good for um, a quill style pen. Really, really boring for most people, but this is English majors writing, so you get to hear really boring sh I'm sorry, really boring stuff about pens. The punishment that I have instituted for myself, very similar to your last self-instituted punishment, which, by the way, freaking rocks, and I'm really sorry if I've embarrassed you by showing it to a bunch of people, but I think it's really flippin' sweet that I really loved, and I really want to show people because I think it's awesome. I have a painful admission, an extraordinarily painful admission. Hmm. I, I can't even look at myself while I say this. I wrote a Buffy fan fiction. Okay, that may not seem so bad, but you know exactly how I feel about fan fictions. They're a thing that should never be done, and if it does have to be done, then, I mean, you do it and you burn it, or you eat it, or you bury it in the backyard and you never talk about it again. And I'm ashamed, and it involved Angel, which makes it even worse, but no sex scene. Okay, I know this is gonna come back to bite me later, but there you go. There's a little piece of information that I'm sure you're gonna use against me in the future, but do keep in mind, I can assign you to eat carrots. Second punishment, which isn't really so much punishment so much as it is an idea to make this a little easier on ourselves, because we're not the vlog brothers. We're not brothers. One of us is anatomically inequipped to become a brother. I think the four and a half minute videos are kind of hard for us sometimes. Something I think we could do in addition to our vlogging thing is actually do some writing via YouTube. Um, so I'm going to be creating a second channel called One Minute Chapters. Put the link down there. We could do um, a series of one minute videos I'm going to start writing the first chapter, speaking the first chapter after this, um, and then you can add on your chapter, which would be the second minute, and it has to be one minute long. I thought it would be a nice shout out back to the days when you taught me how to actually edit video for Perfect Pets, and I thought it would also bring back similar migraines. Here it is. Sorry it took so long. DFTBA. I'll see you soon. Oh. Shout out to Meryl, who um, told me that she's actually been watching a lot, which is really cool. Hi, Meryl. Thanks for watching. I'm glad we entertain you. I don't even know if we entertain each other, but I'm glad you're entertained. <laughs>